Hello everyone, welcome back. Do you know that you can actually record video gameplays on your PC directly to the OBS Studio without using any type of capture card? Yes, you can. Actually, this can be possible for recording directly without using any type of video capture card. But mind you that this method can only be effective on games that are low to average types of games now for those who doesn't yet have a video capture card in their possession and wants to record gameplay right away i think this could be a source of information that you could use okay but for those who are trying to use recording higher types of graphics of games i would suggest that you would use the video capture card for more improved graphics because um, the OBS studio can only manage to record videos or gameplay that are in low to average type of graphics so mind that and if you're going to use also recording um, Android games I think this will also be effective for you to record directly on the OBS so if you want to know how to do this I can show you right away. So let's go. All right, guys. So here we are in front of my computer. So we are going to open up the OBS Studio. But before that, I would like to inform you that we already had a game on standby. And this game is the Tales of Cesteria, a game for the PlayStation 4. And also it can be played here on the PC as well. So that's our game that we're going to use for uh, the recording on the OBS Studio. So let's open up the OBS Studio. Okay, guys, as you can see here that the OBS Studio is still blank. We need to add on applications for it to uh, record videos perfectly. So you can put on a lot of applications for your blogging, streaming, and so much more. But now we are going to be uh, concentrating on how to record gameplay directly on the OBS Studio. So first things first, let's add in the video capture device. So click OK. Okay guys, so as you can see here that you can see that if there is any type of video capture card that is connected to the OBS Studio or the PC because it will pop out here. But in any case, it has only have the OBS virtual camera so this is the only one that can record screen gameplay or record gameplay on your pc so just click ok the next thing that we're going to do is add on display capture so click ok and you will see that there is a lot of pop-up windows on the monitor meaning it is ready to record whatever that you're going to do on your pc so the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to click the start recording and when you click on start recording it will definitely start recording the entire process of what, what you're going to do in your uh, pc so let's start so start record go to the game and there you go we have the game already playing so let's start So I'll just cut it there. So let's start by playing the game. Let's say OK. So let's check on how it records the gameplay. So I'm going to run around this area and let's go to this next area. So in my monitor, you won't be able to hear the actual voices of the characters. But later on, when we are going to test the video recording that we have completed in the OBS Studio, you will be able to hear the sounds or the voices of these characters as we speak. Okay, so these are the things that you have to know. 
All right, so we cannot hear them here, but can you imagine if you can record this type of game in the OBS studio without using the HDMI video capture card or any type of video capture card? It would be awesome. Of course, if you are going to upgrade your gameplay a little bit and you're going to use and you want to record higher graphic games, I suggest that you would use a HDMI video capture card or any type of capture card that can help you enhance your gameplay recording on the PC. So that's it. So I think I'll be stopping the recording here. So I'll just post this one. And then let's go to the OBS Studio. So here it is. Just click OK. And let's go to Stop Recording. Now, where are we going to see the video? Okay, so look at the video, this icon video here. All right, so icon video, there you go. So click there and you will see that there is a video recorded. So this one is already recorded on my previous blog and this one we just recorded a while. So I will open up the speaker for you guys so that you would be able to hear if the sounds have been recorded by the OBS Studio. So let's check it out. So here we are. Whoa. And you can see that it can also record the video and sounds at the same time so let's check it out <laughs> i'll lower the volume for you guys because it's a little bit loud so as you can see and hear that can also record the sounds of the game that you are playing and how awesome is this that you are not using an HDMI video capture card for it to be recorded inside the Roland's Empire much easier. An approach only the humans could take. <laughs> Looks like you're all on the same page. So, okay guys, I think that this would be a much better opportunity for those who are not uh, yet familiar on game recording and also using the HDMI video capture card. So, if you guys want to practice first recording, you can do this by recording directly to the OBS Studio. I do hope this video had helped you in understanding and given a bit idea to your minds that you can use this type of game uh, recording. Okay? So that's about it for the video for today. Thanks so much guys for watching and joining me in this video blog of mine. And I do hope this video have helped you gaining some information on other ideas for the OBS Studio. So if you like the video, please do hit the like button down below and also put a comments on the things that you want me to do for you guys. So that's about it. So this is Infobliss 101, make your own perspective guys and I'll be seeing you on the next video blog. Have a great day.